so you did pass out, it seemed like, on the way out of the octagon. What happened? Um, you know, man, I took this fight on five days' notice. Um, just straight off of the couch. I was watching South Park one day, and uh, Mick Maynard, my manager, telling me, hey, uh, there's short notice fight. Do you want to take it? You're uh, you don't cut weight, so I think it's a good fight for you to take. And I was like, yeah, uh, definitely underestimated uh, Roberto Sanchez. Uh, Roberto Sanchez is a lot stronger and uh, a lot more ground savvy than I thought he was. I got to give hats off to him. He's a very good opponent. Um, yeah, I uh, I stood up and all of a sudden I just lost consciousness and uh, yeah, I was just a little bit out of shape. Uh, when I'm in shape for a fight, when I'm not slamming myself on my head, um, I come out and, and I look like a world champion, but tonight I didn't, but I got the win and that's all that matters. I get to renegotiate my contract now and uh, I get to take tougher fights. I'm ready to take those tougher fights and I'm ready to get back in shape and, uh, and take whoever is in the flyweight division. So, so just lastly on this, was it exhaustion then you think? Just on that. Yeah, I, um, no, I think it was from puking. Um, I. I puked in like ha like those big buckets that they give you those uh, body armor buckets sponsored. Um, <laughs> nice. Those body armor buckets. Yeah, I puked about half half of that bucket full, and uh, all of a sudden I got back up and yeah, I passed out. And then I, I got my big my big manager. He's about 250 pounds. He lifted me over his head and to the doctor, and it's pretty much how it ended. <laughs> so you puked after the fight? Oh yeah, I wasn't going to puke inside of the fight. I wanted to puke after 30 seconds of the fight. I was so dead tired, but, um, but yeah, I just I wasn't in shape for this fight. It was, like I said, a five-day notice fight. And um, I, I'm, in two months, if you give me two months to get ready for a fight, I can take on people like Henry Zahuda. I can take on people like Demetrius Johnson. I can take, I mean, if you look at um, uh, at all the people that I fought so far, I mean, you got Davison Figueredo knocking out John Moraga and stuff like that. And I beat Davison Figueredo. So um, yeah, I, I think I know where I stand in this division. I'm two and two right now, which I should be four and zero. Oh. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep on training and keep on getting better. And then in the next two years, you're gonna see Jared Brooks or uh, I can't. I cannot say Justin Scoggins either, because Justin Scoggins is still uh, still my best friend, and I want the best for him too. Um, it's either me or him. We're going to be the world champions. So. so. So you mentioned your contract. Is your contract now up? You're up for renegotiation. Yeah, up for re renegotiation. Um, uh, four fight contract deal, and uh, yeah, I'm ready to to get back on the horse and fight whoever. Uh, I think that um, I think they're going to probably put me up against the likes of Alex Perez next. I think that that would be a good matchup for me. He's a very tough opponent, but um, I would love to fight him. I would love to fight Ben Yen or anybody in the top ten. Give me somebody in the top ten and let me show what I'm capable of. So, so taking the last fight of your contract on five days' notice, that, that's a ballsy move. Was there any hesitation there? Hey, man, you got to go out and you got to put it all on the line. And I wanted to show my matchmakers that I'm not fucking playing. You know what I'm saying? I'm here, here to take this thing. It doesn't matter if it's five days' notice, five hours' notice. I'm still here to fight. I don't cut weight. I don't have to worry about that that kind of stuff. I don't deplete myself at all. So I'm am keeping on growing in this division. After my fight, I weighed 123 pounds. So, but but I'm just as strong as people like Demetrius. So I think that um, whoever they put me up against next, I'm gonna knock them down if I'm smart and not slay myself on my head. <laughs> so out, it, like outside of camp, how much do you walk around at? I'm, I'm literally around the same weight, 125 pounds. Uh, the, the furthest I get is probably 131, and that's me lifting every day and uh, going to my strength and conditioning coach, Guy Monarch. Um, yeah, uh, shout out to my girlfriend, Taylor Harmer. She's the shit. She, uh, <laughs> she, she holds me down. She cooks for me every day. And uh, yeah, she's lovely. If anybody else sees her, that's my Kool-Aid, so. You're hearing the split decision. You know, start to being red, being red again. Where was there any doubt in your mind that you? <clears throat> that you know what? A, a win is a win. A loss is a loss. At the end of the day, I still have my family, and I still have the people that care about me. So uh, here in here in Roberto Sanchez, uh, that you know, getting that other nod from a judge, I'm just like, you know what? If you would have got the win, I'm still happy. I still got people that are with me, that are with me every day, and. Um, that love me and my family. So that's all that really matters at the end of the day. And I think that's what's gonna take me to higher echelons. It's not just this sport.
So I know you said you're at the end of your contract. Uh, do you want to get one more in before the, two, the, the end of the year? Yeah, man, get me on that Toronto card. I'm in Detroit, right? I live in Detroit. I would have so many people coming to Toronto to watch me fight. And uh, yeah, I'm an up and comer in this flyweight division. I know I didn't look the best tonight. Uh, everybody knows I didn't look the best tonight. But at the end of the day, you give me two months, I'll go against anybody in the world. And I'll shock people. I'll, I'll shock all you people in here. All the naysayers, right there. Awesome. I think that's a good way to end it. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. Congrats. Right here, Jimmy's up next year. <laughs> cool. You good, sir? Good job, Jim. <laughs> <laughs>